Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. In this video, we will explore common questions asked by JCI surveyors and provide answers on the Medication Management and Use MMU. Set 1 of 6. Tell me who ensures and check you medication storage or medication room? The responsibility for ensuring and checking the medication storage or medication room typically lies with 1. Pharmacy Department Conducts regular audits to ensure compliance with storage standards, proper labeling, and expiration checks. 2. Nursing Staff Responsible for daily monitoring of the medication room, checking for proper organization and storage conditions, such as temperature and humidity. 3. Quality and Safety Team May perform periodic inspections to ensure compliance with hospital policies and regulatory standards. 4. Assigned Medication Custodian A designated nurse or pharmacist ensures that the medication storage is secure, clean, and meets safety requirements. Regular checks ensure safe and compliant medication management to prevent errors and maintain quality care. How to make sure that medication are safe from loss or theft? To safeguard medications from loss or theft, implement the following measures. 1. Secure storage. Store medications in locked cabinets, medication rooms, or automated dispensing systems accessible only to authorized personnel. 2. Access control. Limit access to medication storage areas to authorized staff using keycards, biometric systems, or passcodes. 3. Inventory management. Conduct regular inventory checks and audits to account for all medications particularly controlled substances. 4. Surveillance Systems Install security cameras in medication storage areas to monitor activities. 5. Documentation Maintain accurate records of medication use, including dispensing, administration, and wastage. 6. Report Discrepancies Immediately report and investigate any discrepancies or suspected theft to the pharmacy department or security team. 7. Staff Training Educate staff on medication security protocols and their role in preventing theft. These measures ensure the integrity and security of the medication supply chain within healthcare facilities. Tell me what are your high-alert medication? High alert medications are drugs that carry a higher risk of causing significant harm if used improperly. Common examples include 1. Anticoagulants Examples, heparin, warfarin Risks, increased bleeding potential 2. Insulins Examples, regular insulin, insulin glargin Risks, severe hypoglycemia 3. Opioids Examples, morphine, fentanyl Risks, respiratory depression and overdose 4. Chemotherapeutic agents Examples, methotrexate, vincristine Risks, toxicity to non-target tissues 5. Neuromuscular blocking agents Examples, succinylcholine, rocuronium Risks Paralysis without sedation. 6. Electrolyte concentrates. Examples, potassium chloride, 4. Magnesium sulfate. Risks, cardiac arrhythmias if overdosed. 7. Sedatives. Examples, midazolam, propofol. Risks, oversedation and respiratory depression. These medications are handled with additional safety measures, such as double-checking by staff, clear labeling, and strict monitoring during administration. How are medication requiring below 25 degrees or below room temperature stored? Medications that need to be stored below 25 degrees Celsius or at room temperature are managed with these measures. 1. Controlled Environment Store medications in temperature-controlled rooms or cabinets with consistent monitoring. 2. Temperature monitoring. Use digital thermometers or temperature data loggers to regularly check and record storage conditions. 3. Air conditioning. 
Maintain a stable environment with air conditioning to ensure the temperature stays below 25 degrees Celsius, especially in warm climates. 4. Segregated storage. Store these medications separately from those requiring refrigeration to prevent confusion. 5. Compliance with manufacturer instructions. Follow specific storage instructions on medication packaging or labels. 6. Emergency plans. Have backup systems such as generators or alternate storage areas to protect medication during power outages. These precautions ensure medication potency and safety are preserved. Where is your crash cart slash e-kit located? The crash cart or emergency kit, e-kit, is strategically located to ensure quick access during emergencies. 1. Centralized areas. Positioned in easily accessible locations within each patient care unit, such as near the nurse's station. 2. High-risk areas. Always available in high-risk zones like the ICU, emergency department, operating room, and labor and delivery units. 3. Designated storage. Stored in a clearly marked and unobstructed space, ensuring it is visible and reachable at all times. 4. Location maps. Crash cart locations are highlighted on unit floor plans and communicated during staff orientation. Quick and convenient access to the crash cart ensures readiness for life-threatening emergencies.